Ah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the voyages. <laughs> it's the DOUG here. And this is a special video because we're going to be discussing today what dropped yesterday the Crash Bandicoot 4 trailer, which you can pre order right now on the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, digital or physical. Now, if you get the digital version, you do get DLC codes for uh, skins for Crash and Coco. But if you pre order it physically, which is what I'm going to be doing next week when I go to my local GameStop, um, you get a, ta a miniature fig time figo glass. So if you ever watched the Days of Our Lives with that hourglass thing, you'd know what it is. If you don't know what Days of Our Lives is, go ask your parents. I'm not here for a history lesson on that. Uh, now, I did watch the trailer, and I do like the fact it's kind of referencing the end of the third game, you know, because it start that's pretty much how it starts at Dr. N. Cortex. Uh says, Crash, you may have banished me from the past, but that actually did more harm than good because I was able to, to do everything in the past to make your life a living nightmare. So, kind of the best way I can describe how the story is if you played Ranch and Clank a crack in time, or if you even saw the trailer for the new Ranch and Clank, this one does have a lot of more time manipulation and dimension stuff. What it looked like from the trailer. We do get a new, uku -u a new mash that's, that's helping Crash and Coco with the time traveling. And they even kind of reference the Auto Crash games in the, at the end of it saying, um, how many times have you beat this guy? And Crash goes three, and Mask goes, hmm, you think it would be higher than three, which in the, uh, pretty much it seems like they are for canceling the, canceling the canon games uh, after Crash 3 and Crash Caught Racing respectively. So there is no more, there is no Crash Bandicoot, the Wrath of Cortex. And it more just sex, that game's fun, but. At least it means we don't have Tiny Crunch anymore, a.k.a. the Mr. T wannabe ripoff. So, that's a positive. Um, does look good. I don't know if it's a level select, though, because it looks like a lot of platform, but I'm going to presume Crash has a level select again, because he's always had that. Um, does look good graphically. Um, I don't know how much it is to pre-order it, right? How much the game is full price. Um, I'll probably find that out next week when I go to GameStop to pre-order it. So I'll probably just say next week on one of my streams, hey, this is how much it is. Um, and it comes out October 2nd, so right near the end of the year, and kind of right around the time where people would start shopping for Christmas gifts, either it be the current-gen consoles or the next-gen consoles, depending what they're doing. Luckily for me, I am getting next-gen, but I'm also st I know the next-gen consoles are not going to have great games out the gate or that many games out the gate. Um... Which, speaking of that, I may as well just say it now. I am getting the 5. Um, most likely, because I know I'm going to need some kind of get two games to play with it. I'm probably going to get the new Spider-Man game that comes out with it, because it's supposed to come out on that day. And I'm going to pre-order Ranch and Clank as well. Because we don't mean... I love Ranch and Clank. Um, I know that means for some of my p friends and subscribers who are asking why I keep the PS4. Yeah... I am keeping the PS4 because I still can do a lot of Let's Plays on that. Um, but pretty, I would say pretty much uh, after 2021, I will probably not be on PS4 as much. What I'll probably do is just give my PS4 to my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Uh, who will most likely then be buying the one game she's been wanting to buy in the system. I won't let her buy it because I don't want my system to blow up. Tetris! Te the new Tetris game that came out. So... Sure, if you see me on PS4, it's playing Tetris. Yeah, it's probably my mother, not me, okay? <laughs> um, I have the other Tetris game, but I don't have it installed because of the fact that if I know then I have to hook it up out, out in the living room and she'll take over. Damn straight. Like she said. Um, now, before we go, I do want to discuss a few other things uh, with the PS5, though. I already know I'm excited for Spider-Man, Miles Austin, and I think I said his name correctly. Um, and we know I'm excited for Ranch and Clank, but one game I'm going to pre-order as well that comes out next year that I'm hesitant on is Resident Evil 8. My big concern with Resident Evil 8 is there's no zombies anymore. It's, it's going to be werewolves and vampires that are being made by the Umbrella Corporation. It does give me hope that, hey, maybe they bring bringing Albert Wesker back as a werewolf or a vampire. That'd be kind of badass. But from the trailer, and I'm going to discuss this. It looks like Chris is the villain, maybe? Because you're playing as the main character from RE7. And at the start of this one, look, Chris Redfield comes back and makes that character's life a living hell. 
So we don't know if he needs his help or it's Chris dragging him off to somewhere else and using him as bait or whatever or as Chris the villain, we don't know. Uh, if you did watch that and then watch the special video they did after, it kind of feels like they're hinting at a, another game that's going to be coming out with Laurie 8 at the same time. Could we see a remake of Resident Evil 4? I mean, it would be the next technical one in the number. Granted, if you're going by the original canon, Resident Evil Code Veronica X is technically the fourth one, but... It's got a whole different name and all that. Um, also, just as a heads up today for you Star Wars fans out there, I just want to give this little gem out. Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer is out available today on PlayStation 4. I think it's also on Xbox One. Do not quote me on that. I, I don't know that one, guaranteed, but I know it's on the 4 because I saw it this morning. But it's $14.99, so if you love Star Wars or love the pod racing games, you better have 15 bucks in your account. Other than that, um, I am looking forward to Crash 4. I do love Crash Bandicoot. I let's play the uh, the three games already on my channel um, sometime last year, I think, or the year before. Um, and I do plan eventually on Let's Play Crash Kart Racing. I just haven't had the time yet between all my other stuff I do. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you excited for Crash 4? Are you surprised we're getting a Crash 4 on current gen consoles and it's not going to the next gen? And... Which one would you like to see come back? And that's going to be the question of the video. Which one would you like to see come back or at least get announced that it's getting a new game finally? Sly Cooper, who, of course, we know he is the raccoon who likes to steal. I do. I did platinum all, all four games on PlayStation 3, but it never got ported to the 4, surprisingly. Or would you like to see a new Jack and Dexter? Why we do have four games on the PlayStation 4 of Jack and Dexter, the older PS3 reboots and Jack X... PS2 version, respectively. Uh, we haven't had a new Jack and Dexter game since the PSP near the end of PS2 days. Uh, which was Jack and Dexter The Lost Frontier. Personally, I would like to see Sly Cooper. Um, granted, I would love both, but if I only can pick one, I am picking Sly Cooper. I love the Sly games. I have all of them. I've played all of them. I platinumed all of them. So I love those. But let me know what you think. Would you rather have Sly come back or Jack and Dexter? And until next time, this is the D.O.U.G. Signing off saying have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the uh, month we have in June because July is coming very quickly. And oh, one more thing before I forget. Don't forget today that came out officially. The remake of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, I've had read reviews of that. And it's not doing well apparently in the review department. Which is kind of kind of sad because I know the PS2 version did very well in uh, rating. Uh, you got 8 out of 9, but from what I've been seeing to so far today, it's been getting 6s and 5s. So if you're getting the new Spongebob game, let me know what you think of that. Did you enjoy it or do you have to agree with the critics? Till then, so long, farewell, I'll be just been my friend. Now you know where I get my terrible singing from, guys. Bye-bye.